Warning, this video is only for the age of 14 and older. If you're not the age of 14, I'm sorry, you're not welcome here. Hello ladies and gentlemen, so today we are going to review another Hasbro Overwatch Ultimate Review. But this time we have here is... This. Yes, I finally got the two-pack, so... Heh, I know you can see over over there but yeah you could probably see it probably gonna move the camera over here a little bit so this is the Mercy and Farah 2 pack comes with Mercy and Farah of course and everything comes with but I have to tell you guys a little dark story of this 2 pack this 2 pack I got here I had to get another one because the one I have I had to return it yesterday now the one I now the one I have, I got it in my local um, Walmart by Perlin, which is on clearance on, was on clearance about $25. So if you guys live in Perlin, I will recommend it to go there to get it right now before the clearance is going to be finished. But anyways, move the camera over here a little bit. But anyways, here we have the two-pack right here. And long story short, Ferris hands has been broken. The old one, not the one I already have. So anyways, here is the two-pack, what it looks like. Here we have Mercy and Pharaoh, the two lovely ladies right here. Or about to or say lovely couples, if you guys already know. Um, if you guys already already know. Wink. But here it is, what they look like. Here's the side of the packaging. You can see Mercy and Pharaoh symbol right here. And here it is, the other side right here. Support and damage class. Here's the back of the packaging right here. Now for Mercy, name, Angela Sigler, age uh, 37, occupation, a field medic, Alfred, I can't even say it right, Overwatch formerly, and here it is, everything down here, the country she's in is Swiss, her ultimate is Valkyrie, if you guys remember a long time ago, um, Mercy Ultima got nerfed, it's been switched to Valkyrie, which I don't know what it does. Her, her ability is Resurrect. Her, um, her two weapons she comes with is the Guardian Staff, uh, not Guardian Staff, the Garcia's, Garcia's Staff. Her other weapon is the Garcia's uh, Blaster, hope I said it right, if not, I'm sorry. And, and the other abilities is Guardian Angel and Lassie. And lastly is the Angelic Descent. Now for Pharaoh, here it is. For Fafara, Nafara, sorry, I hope I said it right. If not, I'm sorry. I'm just tired right now, guys. I know I woke up. I know it's. The afternoon, but I'm just, I just woke up, so yes. Now, name, Farah, um, Farah Mari, age 32, occupation, security chief, application, Helix Security International, which is cool, okay. Um, the country she's born with, uh, Egyptian, well, Egypt, of course, duh. Her ultimate is the, let's see. And right now I have my phone with me. Look, I don't have the actual game. I wish I do. So yeah. Her ultimate is Barrage. Weapon of if she if she comes with is the rocket launcher. And her one of her two ability is uh jump jet and the last one is Con concussive concussive blast. I can't. I can't. I can't even say it right. Okay, cut me some slack, folks. Also available is uh, Sombra, Lucio, Reaper, Blackwatch, Rare Version, Tracer. I don't have Reinhardt. If I do, if if you guys do have an extra one, let me know. And also Anna, Snake Skin, and Soldier Seventy Six. So if you guys have these two, please give them to me because I need new videos. Here are the accessories that all both of the lovely lady have. The effect piece right here, here they are. 
for Ferus, we have close um, fists, left and right hands, right here. Her rocket launcher. And for Mercy, her right fist hand and left open hand. Her blaster, her staff, and it comes with one base, which unfortunately is used for Pharaoh. I wish that I wish they could put with. I wish they could come with two: one for Pharaoh, one for Mercy. And here it is, the lovely ladies itself, themselves. Sorry. Here we have Mercy, and here we have Pharaoh. Please stand. Please stand still, Farah. Farah, doesn't matter. I'm tired. Okay, cut me some slack. So here it is, the two lovely ladies, or but or I say lovely couples. But let's start off with Mercy first. I know this video is gonna be long, so I don't care. Bite me. So here it is, Mercy. What she looks like. Now the painting, the sculpting, and the detail of this figure is one of the greatest one ever. The only major problem with all the Overwatch Ultimate figures is. Lack of paint, so that means Hasbro didn't paint it. More of it of the figure, like in the game, like in the game, uh, accurate of it. So probably after I'm done recording this, I probably have to uh, paint it on like in the video game on both of them. So probably it's gonna take me a while, and probably gonna find the paint what I need for it. So like this paint over here, for example. If you guys know, if you guys remember the name of it, please let me know. So when I got out of the packaging, her wings are bent. If you can see it, yeah, they're kind of bent. I tried everything to fix it, but they're stuck like this. So they're kind of warp, bent. So yeah, this kind of sucks. Her articulation, head is on a ball joint, so it does go 360 degrees. Because you could, um, move it, you could pivot around it. She does, she can go up like that. There's a little hinge right here. She could go up not that much but she can go she can look down like that her wings is on a ball joint and it is removable so her wings can go like this can go up and down and like I said removable just don't lose these her arms can go 360 degrees but the wings can get in the way but if you do get like this kind of articulation there you go her arms can go in and out it's on a swivel now let's see what else Ben at the knee Ben, ben at the elbow, sorry. Forms under the um can go 360 degrees. You do have some wrist articulation, does go 360 degrees on a peg. Wrist can go up and down like that. Gotta carefully. You do have some upper you do have some upper um articulation right here. So it's on a ball joint. Let's go like that. I'm gonna probably gonna remove the wings for for it. So it goes like that. Do have some add crunch right here. But there's another problem. If you can see it, there's a little scrape right here. If you can barely see it, there's something wrong with the add crunch. So yeah. Her legs can go forward. Not that much because of the way the body is. Not that much backwards. Her legs can go in and out a little bit. But you do have some bicep swivel, which it is kind of stiff, way too much. You do have a double knee bent right here. You got the first bent and the second bent right here. Ankle articulation, you could go down, up, and you can pivot left and right. So you do get some decent possibility of this. Now, book for Mercy and her Guardian Blaster is pretty simple. But it does have one major issue with this. If I can, let's see. Let's see. So here, here she is, what she looks like, holding her guardian of, not guardian, of her Sydney's blaster, of her blaster right here. Now, the problem with this one, do I paint? Same thing with her staff, so, yeah. So here it is, now here she is with her staff, and for some reason the fingers get bent a little bit, I don't know why, but it's really annoying, and it's extremely 
pisses me off to do it. And I forgot to mention this video is not made for kids. So yeah. There is what she looks like hurting her, holding her with her guardian staff. Not guardian staff. Oh my god, I am so stupid. So yes. Now, Mercy Hands are removable, but unfortunately, I had to do it off camera. Or probably going to do it on camera, I don't know. Now, to plug it in on her right fist hand, carefully take it off. If you can't take it off the hand, use a blow dryer. Use a hair dryer to warm up the plastic a little bit. And also, if it won't fit in, to use, a little, use some sandpaper to sand it a little bit. Don't sand it too much. Or it will get loose. If it gets loose, use some a bit of a little bit of a crazy glue. If she, here she is what she have on her what's her fist hand. I'm gonna carefully remove that. Put back on her grabby hand. And putting her other hand articulation right here. Now the hand the hands feel like some cheap plastic. Because of the camera can focus, focus. Because look, so it move it will go a little bit. I feel like the hands are cheap knockoff, and here it is, Mercy, like like this, like reviving her teammates from the dead. It's kind of it's sad that Mercy Ultimate been nerfed. So yeah, I will give her the final pose. So for this. So I'll be I'm gonna pause the video, give her the final post, then I'll do Pharaohs. Oh wait, I forgot to mention I forgot to mention one thing. Her healing her healing a staff. You could plug it in, but you need to find a way to do it right. Oh no. Look, there's I think there's something wrong with Yep, there's something wrong. Look like they didn't cut the rest of it in. Probably need to get a Sacto knife, but the way it looks is like that. So I'm going to pause the video, give her the final pose, then I'm going to do the Pharaoh. So yeah, I'll be right back. So give me a few minutes, you guys. Alright, there's the final posing for Mercy. She's an alright figure, I guess. The problem is, the, artic the app crunch over here is something that will scrape up the paint. And sometimes you're going to get some dirty, get your fingerprints, get your like some dirty paint, dirty looks on the um, body right here because of the color white. So yeah. So, let's get on with Farah. So, I'm going to pause the video and show you guys Farah. Now, here it is, Farah. Now, the painting, sculpting, and detail of this figure is one of the greatest one ever. The only major problem with this one is lack of paint, which all the other Overwatch Ultimate figure have. Now, the color blue on her is, it's look perfect. I, I think it's like a metallic finish of this one. But, oh my god, it's look perfect. Her articulation wise, her head is on a it's on a ball joint, so it does go to his grease. Is kind of a bit too loose and for my taste. She does can she can look down like that. It is also on a hinge as well. But not that much up. You can barely see her face. Like if the camera can focus, you can barely see the eyes right here. Her her jet wings right here. It's in a ball joint, so that means it does go to his grease. Does go up like that, does go down like that. You can pivot left to the right. Her arms, her shoulder piece right here, which is had the missiles right here. It's at a ball joint, so it does go like this and that. Arms can go down 60 degrees, it's on a swivel. Shoulder is also it's on a hinge, so it does go in and out. Band of the elbow. You got the upper forearms articulation and you got the lower forearms articulation by the elbow. And for some reason, this down here is, is kind of stiff a little bit. Wrist is on a it's on a peg right here. It does go up, it does go down. So yeah, I will recommend I would recommend it, but not recommend it to send it the little pegs right here because if you send it too much, it will get loose. If if your wrist articulation gets loose, um, I recommend I will recommend to put a little bit of crazy glue to to. To leave it dry out, dry out, and yeah, just leave it dry out. Don't put it in. To leave it dry out. So, anyways, back to the articulation. You got some upper torso articulation. Does go up. Does go down. 
Got some torso articulation, does go down like that, and for up. Jeez, a lot. Legs can go forward, backwards. Not a much in and out, which just kind of sucks. Bicep swivel right here. Double bend at the knee. First bend. And for some reason, the bottom one is kind of stiff for some reason. For my taste. So, double bend at the knee. Ankle articulation could go down. Not that much up. And you can pivot a little bit. Now, I forgot to mention, the base right here it does have an articula articulation. It's on a peg right here. So here is the peg right here. You can peg it in. Does go ratchet. It's on a ratchety joint right here. So it does go down. Does go up. Same thing with this. And the little coil piece right here can go in and out like that. Now I want to do it. Now I want to switch uh, Ferris hands with closed fist hands, but I can't because of this. Probably going to pop off. And probably if I can put in the rocket launcher without messing up the wrist, I'm probably going to do it on the left side, so I'm going to do it nice and carefully without messing up the figure. Hopefully it doesn't screw me over. I'll probably have to stop the video. I have to stop the recording. I'm probably going to stop pause the recording for a minute and put it in. And that's pretty much just it, so yeah. So I'm going to pause this here for a minute. Alright, here it is, what she looks like holding her rocket launcher. Problem is, it's too heavy, so that means over here will probably bend too much and will probably break the wrist. So yeah, that's not going to be pretty good. Now, I forgot to mention one thing, her jet wings, her little jet pack over here is on a ball joint that is removable. And plus, it can open and close right here. Now, I don't want to switch the fist hands with this because, like I said, Look at here. Yeah, this is the curse of the Ferris of Faras hands. Now she does have some um some effect piece, which is which is this one right connected to right here, but you have to check which line to go, which it is kind of tricky to plug it in. And plus confusing which one where to go. I need to put this one in. Man, it's kind of hard to. Oh yeah, there we go. But it has some more heavy heaviness to the back, so that's what the stance comes with. Only for Farah, which it is kind of lame. I don't know if it works with other what heroes as well, but if I can. There it is. She look um perfectly on the base. Now if I can open it up carefully. There you go, now she's doing her ultimate. Now I'm gonna give these two these two lovely ladies and her and their final pose. For these two, and I'm probably gonna give you guys my final result on audio. So that pretty much that's it. All right, you know I forget the audio um, final post in this one. All right, my final result on this two pack is perfect, but the hands on Farah's hands feel like cheap knockoff. So I'm sorry I didn't put in the fist hands. All right, cut me some swag. I just don't want this one to get broken. So if you guys can hook me up with some some more hands for Farah and Mercy for the fist, for this, this, and the grabby hands, please let me know. So I'll be happy. So yes. Now if you guys want to get this two pack, I would recommend it get it in your local Walmart, Target, eBay, Amazon, GameStop. But this one I got it in my local Walmart by Pearland, so they're on clearance about $25. So yeah. Till next time you guys, I'm out.